have but, you uh, have you ever been cut open like in 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 a bad kind of way or not? You've been lucky because I know I know your last opponent, the one that we're talking about with your pro debut. Um, he he, I think threw three or four spinning spinning back elbows, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That that back elbow that he landed on my eye socket was decent. Um, <laughs> that um that flared up straight after. You can probably see me at the end of the fight going like this. Um, it didn't cut though. Uh, it um definitely rattled something inside. It was well timed, well landed. Um, but I got I got the cut over his I got a cut over his eyebrow just here, just a little one. Yeah, I got, I got you. So what's it's, the, it's what? always fun when they when when they start bleeding and you're like ah I'm going to try and open that some more. So what's the worst I guess injury or or that you you've suffered? Um, I haven't breathed out of the right side of my nose since my second fight. Uh, so when you throw spinning back elbows in a kickboxing fight, people get pissed off. And he, Simon just landed this straight punch on my nose and it shut up on that side. Um, broke multiple broken ribs. Like I've had three, three broken ribs in a fight, cracked ribs, um, no cuts. I had I had a fight with that was another fight I took on notice uh, for an Australian title. It's right there. Two weight divisions up from what I usually do. Um, guy called Jordan Maslin from Melbourne. Um, leg kicks for days. He was he was ultra strong. Poor kid passed away now. Um, he kicked the fuck out of my legs and um, I ended up, I, ha- I had leg problems before. Uh, I didn't know what was wrong, but after the fight, I found out I had a 20 centimeter tear in my, in one of the quad muscles. It was 20 centimeters by five centimeters. And that one couldn't walk. Like I was, I was calling my trainer. I'm like, Paul, you need to get in my hotel now. Uh, as soon as the fight finished, I sat down. I'm like, I can't, I can't stand up anymore. It was, it was at that point where if he got one more kick on me, I was going to call it a day. It was very close. I ended up stopping it with a spinning back elbow. Um, so we both walked away. Like he cracked his, cracked his cheek and I, I couldn't walk. So we were like, it was a, it was a pretty decent battle. Um, but that, that 20 centimeter tear, not being able to walk properly was, um, that was a shit drive home from Albury back to Sydney. <laughs> I'll send, I'll send you the photo of my knee afterwards. You can post it up here while we're talking. 